Hello everyone, Brandon here with gdntbasics.com with another question here on the video question line. Today's topic is parallelism referencing three datums. Our question comes from uh, Ignacio and he asked, hello, um, is it a bad practice to use three datums in a single drawing call out for a parallelism symbol? The simple answer to this Ignacio is it is a bad practice and I will show you why. Okay, so I've put an example on here of parallelism uh, with tolerance of 0.030 uh, in reference to datum A. So if you look down at the bottom here, you'll see that there's two parallel planes there. The blue area, that is our tolerance zone. So those two, two planes down there, that's our tolerance zone there for parallelism on a surface. Now, Ignacio didn't specify whether the parallelism uh, was to be for a surface or a feature of size, but the rule still applies for both and I will show you both. So just looking here in the beginning, we're talking about uh, parallelism on a surface. So we have these two parallel planes. That's our tolerance zone in reference to A. So if we added B to this feature control frame, it would, it would confuse um, either the person manufacturing this component or uh, inspection. Because if A is this surface here, and we'll just, just imagine that this part that's sitting in this datum reference frame here is that block or the part in question. But if that's A, um, it, it, can, it will be parallel or the tolerance zone is easily parallel to A, right? So that's A down there on the bottom. So the top surface, which on the part, this top surface that we would be applying it to, must be parallel within 30 microns back to A. Now, if we added B in there, could the top surface be parallel to B? Well, let's say that this is B, and we'll say this is C. And it really doesn't matter which one's which in this case. But that top surface could never be parallel to B or C. So right off the get-go, that would confuse everybody on what is meant by that. Now, when it comes to parallelism on a surface, we don't need to lock down six degrees of freedom. So that's why we don't use a full datum reference frame uh, for parallelism. If you imagine just a simple inspection on this top surface of parallelism back to A, we could easily take this part, set it on top of a granite table, and run a dial indicator over it. Um, not constraining B or C as far as actual datum reference frame. The part's going to have to be constrained to be inspected, but wouldn't be up against uh, B and C. We would just secure it so that it, it is secured to A and we could run the dial indicator across. But now let's move over to feature of size. Uh, this part that's sitting in this DRF has four holes. So let's say that the holes had a parallelism call out uh, back to A. So Let's scratch this part out here, but we'll use the datum reference frame and we'll we'll put in here a diameter symbol Because it is going to be a feature of size that we're controlling here. So we have a and On this one. Let's change. Let's change a let's cross this out. Let's make that one B Didn't do a perfect B there and let's add another box in here and we'll make this one C. Not the best C there. So we've added in C. So now if you look at the axis, just we'll just look at one hole. Look at the axis going through this part. Now that axis can be parallel to B, and it can be parallel to C, but it cannot be parallel to A. So it is quite common to see uh, two datums in the DRF there, the datum reference frame, for parallelism on a feature of size, uh, but not three. And th the reason for that in, in this case is A serves no purpose in there when it comes to parallelism itself. Now remember when it, for parallelism, and it doesn't matter whether it's on a surface or a feature of size, when it comes to parallelism, um, it is not controlling location. So on position you always see or typically we'll see three uh, datums in there and that first datum that's in that position is going to take care of orientation so it could be parallelism 
Uh, normally it's perpendicularity, but it can be parallelism. And then there needs to be another datum in there um, that's going to control the, the other parallelism so that it's not pivoting about a different plane. Uh, and on that one, we would have three datums. But when it comes to just parallelism, it's not controlling location. So we don't have a full DRF, uh, whether it's surface or feature of size. Ignacio, I hope that answers your question. I uh, hope this helps everybody else out in an understanding of parallelism. Uh, we appreciate the question. You guys keep watching these. we got some more coming out pretty soon. Uh, thank you, everyone. Bye.